around 400 billion cups of coffee are consumed around the world every year. 60% of the world's adults drink coffee. It's a $132 billion industry. Now that we have your attention, no, it isn't a Western invention. Coffee has Arabic origins, and it was almost about to vanish from the earth once upon a time. Coffee has gained popularity in the Arab world in the 15th century, with the first export going out of Ethiopia to Yemen. Due to its stimulating effect, it was quickly adapted as a daily drink throughout the Arab world. By 1414, the plant was known in Makkah, and in the early 1500s, was spreading to the Sultanate of Egypt and North Africa from the Yemeni port of Mocha. Coffee houses also opened in Syria, especially in the cosmopolitan city of Aleppo, and then in Istanbul, the capital of the Ottoman Empire, in 1554. Early practitioners of Islamic medicine and science fought against the notion that the effect of coffee was like that of hashish or alcohol, and instead argued the benefits of the drink, which would stimulate the mind while protecting against the allure of alcohol and hashish. Contrary to its role in recent centuries, coffee became a subject of debate. When a fatwa came to effect in 1532, coffee as its consumption was established as haram by the Ottoman Caliphate. Drinking coffee in public places was also scorned. Not not only was public consumption seen as taboo, but people often drink from a communal bowl in a fashion similar to a drinking wine. This most likely contributed to the disdain of coffee because of its similar style of consumption once again related to it and compared to alcohol. While Suleiman I was still in power, taxes were imposed in an attempt to prevent both bureaucrats and those who were unemployed from consuming coffee. Further attempts occurred during both the reigns of Sultan Selim II in 1567 as well as Sultan Murad III in 1583. Whenever those of more modest means began to drink coffee, which included professions ranging from craftsmen to shopkeepers to local soldiers. Despite the attempt to bar people from drinking coffee, the fatwa ultimately failed, as coffee did not compare to the effects of alcohol. This back-and-forth scenario falls within the debate of whether coffee is halal or haram, while it certainly proved controversial. Coffee continued to be sought out by many, as it does today. Follow our food history series for more.